Good afternoon, welcome. My name is Richard Endicott. I'm the Apogo Community Expert and my webinar today is on dynamic teaching and how your teaching can shape your career. Now, for those of you who have followed my blogs and have seen my um, uh, bits and bobs on the uh, Apogo uh, website and app, you'll know that this is my 16th year in teaching. And I was working out the other day that during that time I have taught nearly 15,000 lessons I've read over 10 million words in essays and homeworks, etc. I've laughed, I've cried, I've been embarrassed, I've been embarrassing, but I've overall enjoyed the highs and suffered the lows of a teaching career which is now in its prime. So what is this webinar all about? Well, it's about how you can use your teaching in the classroom to help develop your career further. And there's five main areas that we'll be exploring today. First one is how to embrace the modern way, how to maintain your higher standards, inspiring your educators, taking every opportunity which comes your way, but of course overall reflecting overall on your practice. So embracing the modern way. Now, for those of us of a certain vintage, you know, we've sort of been teaching for a while, we do get stuck into our our ruts and we get stuck into our way of doing things and for us it's not a particularly easy way um, of adapting but over the years of course we have seen many many adaptations to the way that we teach in the classroom students are stakeholders in their learning and dynamic lessons are certainly the way that the 21st century has developed allowing students to take control of their own learning your job is simply to trust them now you do this through a, a number of different ways which you'll be able to see on the screen. Collaborative learning, working together, working together in groups. Mastery is a word which is new to the, uh, to the lexicography of the, uh, of the teacher. But mastery, not just of, of, of the subject content that they are learning, but also mastery of the, um, of the different areas which are involved across the curriculum. How to utilize digital technology, how to produce high quality homework, metacognition and self-regulation, teaching strategies to help students monitor their own work. When they do their peer assessment and their self-assessment, what are they looking at? What are their parents looking at? Are they taught how to, how to work and problem solve and to produce the highest quality of work? but also reading comprehension strategies. And ultimately, one of the key features of the modern way is outdoor learning. Can we take what we are learning in the classroom into the real world? So through maintaining high standards, research shows that most dynamic teachers create a safe and supportive climate for learning. They manage their behavior, their space, their time, and their resources efficiently and effectively, implementing the clear instructions, including explicit and high expectations with very, very clear objectives for learning. What is it that we are aiming to achieve through this whole lesson? Good behavior management skills and efficient use of learning time are critical um, in the classroom particularly behaviour for learning has taken on a, a, a new dynamic over the past few years and it's always looking at the way that the kids are engaged, the way that they're utilising their time, how they're being respectful to each other um, and how you as a teacher are facilitating that particular uh, strategy. But it's the skillful use of questioning and feedback to make lessons highly interactive and extend in learning, which really marks a dynamic teacher. I've spent the last few weeks on learning walks, walking around the school and seeing various different teachers in various different settings within the classroom using different techniques in order to sort of show that their students are understanding the topic areas which they are doing and it's effective questioning which has really struck me as the most effective way of eliciting um, strong answers and eliciting that feedback that you have um, not only been able to convey your information across to the students but the students have taken that on board and have actually been able to convey their ideas back to you so how do we inspire educators well 
we use largely informal approaches to meet individual student needs. We have to remember that every student is different. They have different needs. They have different learning abilities. They have different reading ages. Each individual student has a particular development need, which you need to be able to match. But at the same time, promoting the highest level of student engagement and motivation through a variety of different learning activities, seeking ways to promote and honour student choice and input, and using a wide variety of activities or approaches over the course of a lesson. How are you differentiating your work? How are you ensuring that every single student in that particular um, lesson is learning and maximising their learning potential? showing high levels of commitment and care for students' learning and well-being, and developing and reinforcing those positive relationships with students, which are absolutely critical to a dynamic teacher in the classroom. So how can we take our opportunities? How do we develop? Taking every opportunity to impress is essential in scaling your career ladder. Don't be afraid to showcase your lessons. Keep that door open. Show those anybody walking past, whether they be visitors uh, outside the school or within the school, that your lessons are the ones that are the most sparkly and the most interesting. Embrace those learning walks and those book checks, not as a means to check up on you, but actually to celebrate your dynamism. Razzle dazzle the audience. This is your stage and the students and any visitors are guests in your particular show. It is your lesson which is the one which is the showcase. It's the showpiece of the entire school. You want people to be there to see it. You want an audience. Encourage them in. Don't keep that door shut. Don't um, hide away in your classroom, but really show that it is your lesson is the one which is going to be uh, highlighting you as the most dynamic of teachers. And finally, is the concept of being reflective. Much is made in teaching of growth mindsets, and it's quite been quite a trendy term now for quite a number of years, and how we can, can encourage those greater engagement amongst your pupils. The same can be said about teachers themselves. Are you open-minded and ambitious enough to turn even the greyest and wettest Monday into a bright, sunny reflection of your spirit through dynamic teaching in the, in the classroom? Can you use your strength, your teaching, to develop your career and future job prospects? It is you that the, um, the leadership team are interested in. It is your skills. Are you the person they can trust and rely on? Are you the person that they can really, really engage with and demonstrate that this is the type of teaching that they want in this school and encourage as many, many visitors as possible to come and see you. So that's it. So over 15,000 lessons and 10 million words. I've certainly seen lots and I've heard lots and I've seen the impact that a dynamic teacher can have and the way that they're able to scale the career ladder as a way of demonstrating their excellence in the classroom and the mastery over everything that they have. Good luck with everything. And if you have any questions or you wish to discuss further, please do engage with the Apogo app and uh, you can contact me through there. Many thanks and enjoy the rest of your afternoon.